Now, the U.S. Senate has finally voted to confirm Chuck Hagel as President Obama's next Secretary of Defense. Now, his appointment ends weeks of delay in which some of his Republican colleagues argued he was the wrong man for the job. Mr. Hagel's nomination bitterly split the Senate, with Republicans saying he was too critical of Israel and too compromising on Iran. <laughs> It was the closest ever vote to approve a defense secretary at 58 to 41. Republicans had previously raised concerns over Hegel's direction on Iran and Israel. President Barack Obama nominated Hegel last month. Republicans criticized statements Hegel had made in the past about Iran and Israel, and they questioned his qualifications for the post. This time, some of them gave their approval. They agreed drawing out the process would not help national security. Hegel is expected to get down to work later in the day. He'll have to turn his attention to the Pentagon budget and how to manage billions of dollars worth of cuts. He is a throwback to an era that the Republican Party does not want to remember. Uh, there were a time uh, in the late 70s, early 80s, when there were Republicans who actually had the audacity to question America's policy in relationship with Israel. There was a time where we had Republicans who didn't always think that American military might had to be used to solve every single problem. And that's the kind of man that Chuck Hagel is. He does not fit with the modern Republican Party, and therefore they were offended and, and quite angry that Barack Obama chose him to be defense secretary. But fortunately for the president, he was able to get the nomination to push through.